moment you have all been waiting for, Yanni's world premiere. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yanni Lodent. I'm also a safari guide. I've been guiding for quite some time. I'm here with uh, Wild Earth for the first time today. It's quite a little bit different guiding in front of a camera. Um, but yes, we'll be on an adventure. Well, you'll be on an adventure with me this afternoon. And uh, let's see what we can find. All right. There we go. Right, you're in. All right. So, I'm from South Africa. I've been guiding for about eight years now. Um, today, I'm driving in quite a little bit of a different area from what I'm used to. Um, the landscape is quite flat and uh, also the plants are quite uh, interesting um, please do give me some questions or if you do have anything to ask i'll be very happy to give you an answer all right so earlier we were on the search uh, for leopards um, we'll continue to do that and let's see at the moment what we're looking for are tracks and then just any particular signs for this afternoon yesterday um, they did uh, find some fresh tracks of Karula um, it would be very nice to see her this afternoon um, there haven't been any updates from this morning um, but you never know what happens in the bush there might always be a surprise around the corner um, but we'll try our best but for now there's a beautiful yellow billed hornbill Vim, if you can show it there, let me get a bit closer. Oh, her knee decided to fly off a little bit. Probably a bit camera shy. But as you can see, it's got quite a robust beak. Um, it's not a carnivorous bird. Uh, they generally do prefer feeding on fruits. Um, currently, at the moment, we are in our winter time, so there's also not a lot of fruits around. Um, so the yellow-billed hornbill will also generally feed on insects and then also other animal foods or proteins. You can sometimes find it that they'll feed even on chameleons. All right, they're also monogamous species and uh, what they generally do is they nest are usually constructed in natural hollow cavities of trees. And you'll find that where the male will help the female to then close the hole up, leaving only a small little area for the, female's beak, uh, for the male's beak to fit through. Um, and then from there, while she is busy incubating the eggs, um, the male will go out on a daily base to look for insects and other kinds of foods to feed the female. As soon as the female, or as soon as the eggs then hatch, the male will help the female to break out of that cavity and then the male and female will reseal the hole where the male and female will then have the duty of feeding the chicks until they're large enough to come out. And then of course the parents will break open the hole again. <laughs> 